Uh, that, that, so that's why I'm confused. Okay, when you say impactful, right? So everything about that battle got to be in, got to bring an impact. So the impact me and Arsenal brought was the whole the whole video promo building up buzz stuff to the culture, right? Boom, boom. Arsenal was the biggest name out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at the time. You know what I'm saying? I was a rising star, but he was. It was one of those. He could have really did something like he could have really damaged that St. Louis movement very badly. What? Like What's he really could have put a damage to that. He could have put an end to that shit before it started. Let's call it for what Let's it is. Besides, it is. Besides, besides both of them being two of the greatest, greatest, greatest ever, world still, ever still. Like Hitman's like, first, hit first for surf shaped how shaped people perform in battle rap and battle rap and, and surf third. Like, uh for uh his his first for surf shaped how people perform in battle rap now and surf's third for him. Shaped the whole third round shit that people. No, it did three. No, 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 it's no, not, it's though. not, it's man. Not. No, it's, it's not. not. Come on, it's man. Not. No, it's yo, not. Yo, yo, Greedy, you forgot. Greedy, you forgot. His whole third round is exactly what was had to told me. I said had to. What well, Averb told me. Yeah, just like right. this. No, but third round for Cal is what I told him, man. I'm, but that's I'm the, that's the that's way that he rapped to you, hit man. Nah, man, we not We been keeping it real the whole time, bro. I agree. I, yeah. I, I ain't gonna be a lot greedy. I, I agree with you a lot of times. You gotta understand. Verb, the first person to take me and say, "Yo, you game banging. Yeah. You um, you're a basketball player. And you he need to stop beating people." Same thing. That's, uh, uh, now watch this though. Watch this. Now I'm gonna ask him. So greedy. Listen to this. So a Verb told me, "Yo, you game banging. Why you game banging? And you go to college. You play basketball. Uh, why you doing this with your daddy there? And all the stuff he said. Right. Boom." What did Surf say differently? I want you to say the uh, ball out of, I mean, you say he shaped it, right? So what did Surf say differently to Verb for you to for you to not count Verb third to me and say that's what people do, how, what Surf did? That, that don't right? even make sense, bro. No, I'm, all right, um, so, so what I'm saying, I'm not saying that he said anything Verb didn't say, but the way he did it, the, um, yeah, the 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 fresh signs the the press nine the um, no man love the, the, no, hold up, hold right before right before the 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 the, 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 the drop back so amazingly I taught him how to and hold he was like creating parallels with like oh, the street no, shit no that's still not right though bro because I was not trying to pull that move off yeah, yeah, wow. yeah so, so, so that's why it's hard to really say because he did it he just did it ball wise like he took what, what verb said verb gave me a, like a whole lecture. I and surf ain't give me a yeah. surf. Yeah, surf ain't give me a lecture. He gave me a lecture and bought like flip like oh, you go to school and you do suicides. Me and my niggas we suicide. Exactly. So, that's like, what I'm he, saying though. But that's the same no, thing. It's the same concept. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, that's the same concept. It's the same concept, but he packages it differently. No, because you're different. Everybody's gonna package it different. Because he's a different rapper. Somewhere. Somewhere. No, I Okay. 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 That's not like like yeah, you can't, can't you can't really take that. that. I thought yeah, you it was about to be a thing after that. Thing after like yeah. like okay, look, guess what? Everybody, everybody, guess what? And Holla, the first person that said my mother was a dyke, and everybody stole that same attack. And it don't mm -hmm. even like so. You got to understand, it's somebody that lays down a, a a format. You see it, and then you say, okay, I'm gonna take an approach, but do it my way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do it and my way. I'm but, not but, saying I'm, but that's, I'm not saying that Surf originated or anything, or that he didn't take the format from y'all. I'm just saying the impact that it had. People weren't doing third rounds like that after y'all did it. They were doing it after Surf's third. No, they was not. Yeah, that's that's not and, and what we're trying to say, uh -huh. and what we're trying to say, Dan, and probably the most monumental third ever, <laughs> star power wise and impactful wise, he got that off of Verb. <laughs> So That's how it. like it's between so it's like how can you say people want starting to do that if the if Lux got his third from him so that means people start doing it after Verb because Lux came before Surf so you gotta say people start writing thirds like that because of Verb. Yeah. Yeah.
that's that's oh, what we okay, said. Like, this, Grady, from, hey, Grady, from, guess what? Go ahead. Let me ask you this. Not to cut y'all off. Let me ask you this, Grady. All right. You know when I go into Showtime mode, it's been two other niggas that have cloned that same thing, or you or did they come before me? Because Twerk brought strapped in. Now we got Brandon who does what he does. Where did that come from? Uh, that, that's Any, you. Anybody want to raise their hand on that? No, I'm not knocking you for innovating this shit. I'm just it's a difference, like let me let me take an example. Um Plenty, it's like plenty of people will rap a certain way, but once somebody comes and makes a name for it, people copy that. And it's not like twerk, twerk style. Prez Mafia was rapping like that before twerk. People in twerk's group were rapping like that before twerk. Mm -hmm. But it's right. twerk style and people copied twerk. They didn't copy Prez Mafia. What did Hitman hit 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 copy from somebody? I didn't say he copied anything from anybody. All right, okay, but but no, this is the point I'm getting to. It's the originality. Because you can't say I copy some. You can't say he copy some. You can't say Marv okay, copy no, none. No, but no, you, yeah, the I'm thing is, no, no, I'm not greedy. But the thing what you're saying is, nobody said they, nobody rap like Prez, they rap like Twerk, because Twerk made that popular, right? Yeah, but right. you can't say that that's for, that's why you got to say, got it from Prez, if anything. Like, yeah. you can't say people start rapping like Surf, when one of the best rappers ever start rapping like it after Ver you know what I'm saying? Like you we already see the domino. Ver no, did but that's it first. What I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Twerk didn't make Twerk the style, but he did make the style. All I'm saying is I, I, I never heard anybody say I got a, a surf third. I've never heard that. I've legit because no, it turned into a Geechee third. But it's a verb. But it's a verb third. third. Yeah, it was verb third first. And he made it to where niggas start right like that for third because now if you can't prove somebody made it that way like so prayers probably couldn't prove like niggas probably couldn't prove prayers because I never seen prayer I can't I can't vouch that because I never really saw prayers battle like that so when they were saying it I didn't know like okay he got it from here oh for real alright whatever kept it moving because I don't know but verb third round is too impactful to the culture to say anybody start rapping like that because it's somebody else like it's too like you saw it, it was the three four million view back like you saw it like it did somebody else did it <laughs> and you yeah, saw that one yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's just like it's kind of hard to be like yo so people start rapping like that because of him when some got when you got two more impactful ones before that one that's yeah. probably what i'm trying to say it's no, hard to say somebody rap like surf third when two more impactful i mean just as impactful niggas had two thirds before that one I think it was yeah. just that they wanted to like it wasn't like they didn't know about verb, but the the way Surf did it, people wanted to rap like that. Yo, greedy! I think you got to learn to differentiate what was like personally impactful to you versus what's universally impactful to everybody else. Because of course that shit is a big moment, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like what Verb did, we all grew to know was masterful. You know what I'm saying? On a whole nother level. And I think maybe a lot of people in here are rappers and we look at it through a different lens. But mm. like what Verb did was complete and what's up, y'all, by the way. But yeah, I think you I think you're looking at it through the lens of what pers 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 personally was huge to you. No, but, if, you, but, but everybody but here's the thing, has their own. Huh? Here's the thing about that though. Would like what has more views, surf and hitman or Hitman and Verb. Okay, listen, listen, we just, we just, we just, we just, we just, listen, 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 open the door for niggas to be making real, real money. It keeps going down the line, but you still got to say, I got that from him. That don't mean that Surf Brown was not hard as fuck. No, it does no, not. It does so, not. So, so let me ask you a question, Greg. I just want to see yo, like, see what answer you'll say this. If Jay-Z battled A-Verb tomorrow and did a remix and the whole world started doing remix, would you say that Jay-Z is the reason why people want to do a remix or would you give or would you still get that credit to me? I would give you would the give credit, you the but, credit but, but I would just say that Jay-Z is the reason that everybody's doing it. He, 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 would be the he would be the reason. Like if people, if 10 times the amount of people that talk about remixes or say it, start doing it after JD does it, yeah, but that doesn't mean that it's not yours and that you don't get the credit and homage. It's just 
how it happened. Like y'all are literally saying yeah. battle rap was in a much bigger position by the time uh, Hitman battle surf and that you and him had already happened and everything like that. I, I think if you ask like nine out of 10 people who don't watch battle rap, like, you know, what, what, what's, what's two battle rappers you heard of? They're going to say, I seen the surf and Hitman battle. Everybody's seen surf and Hitman, Even if you haven't watched it, like I feel like surf and Hitman made more battle rap fans out of anybody. No, that's not true. No, that's you got to understand. Like, look, 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 let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. like, and look, this is not a contest as far as, no, we just saying what's a fact. What's the, what's the view count on, on 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 surfing hitman. Uh nine eight million, million. Eight nine million. million. Nine eight million. nine million. Eight. Okay. What's the what's the view count on Verbin Hitman? Hitman. Five. Five, five million. million. Okay, okay. So look, okay. guess what? So that's four million short with a three year time to build on it. That's do you see what I'm saying? Like right. okay, if we but yeah, if, that, if we're doing the numbers like that though, like if you look at like twenty sixteen, two years after the battle, that's probably a four million and y'all are at three and now it's been how many more years and y'all have only gone up another mil and a half and they hey, hey, okay i got one six I got mil. one Holla, hey holla when you going wild now 2014 okay that's TV okay that's fans, bro. you do know that right he wasn't on tv, he wasn't on TV when i said no, everybody on tv numbers have jumped bro everybody's everybody's he on this man on no, TV. No, every day, my, every day. My, my number was like that before TV, though. Oh, 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 listen, saying, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen, hey, listen. They always been high. Been high. But guess what? <laughs> guess what? If, if he gets on Wild and Out in 2014, that's a whole new fan base that's going to search Hitman every day. They are. They are. No, that's the right, but, they, right. but they'll, see your, they'll see your battle just like they'll see the surf battle. Uh, uh, but, but okay, look, this is the thing. What you're doing right now is wrong. Because, on, because look, no, 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 no. I, I mean, we, we all telling you the truth. Like, that's wrong because. You can't discredit. Look, I don't take nothing from whatever Surf does that is innovative on his part. None. That's mine, though. And that can't be taken. That can't be argued. Every nigga in his culture know that. That's mine. So so we can't share that. Just like at the same time, we can't share certain things with Hitman, remixing them, but we can't share that. We can't share Slow It Down, I Just Dish You with Khan. No, we cannot. We can't share who is this nigga with Ice Pack. We can't. Surf has an innovative thing that he does. That's his. That's his. So when something is somebody else's, we can't just take, can't it, just from take it from so, him. So basically, if we all had to agree and be like, yo, who the reason niggas start making them third round? So X Factor did it before you, bro? X Factor, you no, X -Factor started, started priorities. priorities. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which, so, was his, so which was his form was his of crafting. Craft. Yeah. So basically, when in a, if we ask this culture who the reason people start trying to show you the light or whatever the the, um, the I don't know what y'all name it because the shit always happen on me but whatever y'all call the third rounds I think everybody as a mass is going to say you can't say surface the, I, I don't There's know no way. There's no way. I don't, yeah, no I don't think I don't know if you're trying to say, say it different because I don't because who started the real talk third rounds or how should I work? Yeah, say that. Let's well, say that. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. Who who started the who started Doug? Then put the um parentheses. The real talk. The real talk. Third rounds or bark. Yeah. The yeah. And no disrespect. So what no are disrespect. we doing? Rocks, no Verb, Rocks, X Factor, Verb, and Surf. X Factor and Surf. And Gotti. Yeah. And, Gotti. And, Gotti. and B Dot. Nah, 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 no, 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 yeah, and no, and no and I think that this conversation is the reason why if there's ever there's ever a panel where niggas talk about the top ten, there should be separate there should be separate lists. There should be one for rappers, there should be one for media, there should be one for fans. Because our because, because our, our, because our Maybe I'm even tripping. I feel like like what y'all are saying. Y'all feel like y'all are disagreeing with me, but I'm not saying different from what y'all are saying. I'm I'm with like you were with like you the real talk third rounds being yours. I'm just saying. I'm just after saying. Well, ask your question. Well, ask, 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 well, ask this. Say, ask or do people do the third rounds because of surf of her? Well, ask that man. Yes, because that's what you. The original, the original, the original was impact, right? Impact, right? right? More impact in the culture. In the culture. Uh, who have the yeah? Who have more impact of the battle? Or who have more impact of the third round in the coach? What you say, more? The original. The original question was when I was discussing when we were talking about top ten battles. 
I brought up or somebody brought up you and Bird. Greedy brought up how surfing you was a more impactful battle. I disagree. You know what I'm saying? Then he said, if, if the question would be, which battle was more impactful to the culture? Now, you but they start now, but, but before we could, we all arguing that, but he said, we arguing his reason. He said, it. we know he said he thinks it's more impactful, but he said he thinks it's more impactful because people start doing the real talk third rounds because of surf. And we like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. We said, nah, Verb started that. So that's another argument within the argument. Cause we all can agree we can argue about who impactful more. Like that's that's like a kind of opinionated thing. So we're gonna argue. But we trying to tell him we think he tripping by saying the reason why it's more impactful because people start doing a third round, talk to him round because of surf. And we said, nah, they've been doing that because of Verb. Doing and they may have been doing it because of math, honestly. I just, that's a good point, though. That's Honestly, a good point. Been doing it I mean, doing it I, that's a good point, but I can't because he did verse Rex, huh? You talking yep. about verse Rex? Yep. Yep. And, it, and, and, it, and it was tactical. That motherfucker was hard. That motherfucker was hard. I can't not because, like I said, that I think that's more of a question of who do because I still think they do it because of verb, though. Every time you know I I, you, I, party, it, I probably made it the most popular. All right, if y'all want to retweet it, I'll put it at the top of the look, space. Look, look, look. I probably made it more popular. You understand? Because look, even when Lux took Cal, he said, you remember when Verb had to check the chat? But he, he went into that bag. And then anything after that, it's, it's just getting recycled. That's why I think it's because of you, for sure. I but, like but, 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 anything, like, okay, like, look, anything, anything that everybody steals is innovative. So that means you got to go to the innovator. Like, for instance, it went, when, when Jay said, everybody stopped wearing jerseys, that's an innovator. We all stopped wearing jerseys. Stop wearing Greedy jerseys. said he made it more popular, bro. He, he said you was the originator. He think you made it more popular. I mean, he thinks surf made it more popular. Well, uh, okay, okay, okay well, well, look, guess what? Look, guess what? Is there, anybody Is there anybody right now that can rap surf third round versus you? Or, or at least pieces of it? Yes. Besides Greedy. Besides you, Greedy. Besides you, Greedy. Somebody else. Now they all gonna say even with yours they don't rap y'all they say the hey, yo big girl yeah, yeah. with him that, they say press nine that's all that's all so I'm that's saying what it boils is, down to yeah what yeah. do you remember what do you remember more and they the press nine and hey, yo big girl like hey, yo big girl hit harder was a room bigger bigger room shaker but it when was it more on the line though like line, look, though. look you gotta think we found we the first we people that said we gonna sit up everybody was saying fuck us when we was doing it right everybody was saying no hey yeah you gotta mute yours too. Hey, you know what? It's probably because you got it on speakerphone too, though. That's probably why I was, probably doing, why it. I was doing it. Hey, so so we had more on the line. We had more because we were the first set of people that come from our own world together, walked in together and said, we're going to suit up. Everybody also made punchlines out of us battling, and then they all started doing this shit right behind, right behind us. Facts. Yes, they did. Yes, from, they did. yes the, everybody yeah. started suiting up with each other. Everybody. everybody. Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it more often, but... Now, I forgot about that part. So when it comes to impactful, we the reason niggas start battling each other. Like niggas home, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like we did it before it was cool. We start battling, boom. But I'm still stuck in between because hey, even my Cassidy back, battle, when it comes to impact, my, my, my Cassidy battle, you like said, they what treat me now. You don't, you, you don't think you don't think that's too new? To be in y'all inspired like Keishon versus Rex, Sir versus Show. Yeah, like yeah. all those yeah, things. Because look, that was that was outlawed, man. Wasn't nobody doing it. We was the first people. Right. Like, like we were the first to do a lot of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like so we was the first people to say, "All right, let's go on here and get out." And guess what? Let me talk some more shit. We also made our own money too, motherfuckers, didn't we all? Huh? Yeah, we we, huh? we, yeah, we, like, we like, like, threw like, our like, own battle. Yeah, we threw yeah, our so, own battle so, and so paid and pay your rail to um. We didn't wait. Yeah, we 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 didn't wait. paid them to film. What we had them do? Man, come get the footage, man. man. Come get the footage, man. Oh, yeah, we sold them the footage. <laughs> yeah, come get them. Yeah, yeah. What you mean? Yes, and guess what? And I want to let y'all know this. We selling tickets. Hologrimy ass had his own pack of tickets. Uh, selling them to them. Yeah, come get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but guess what? I had my own pack, too. And it's okay. So guess what? Everybody. And we had an after party set up right behind it. So we took, we took ours into our own hands. For real, for real. And we all walked away with money. For real, for real. That was the I man. Told, hey, I told him, I told him, 
Bird gave me the first showtime. I gave him the first remix. First remix. We shook hands, jumped in a whip, and left the venue together. Yeah, man, come on, bro. Like, listen, look, bro, it, 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 everybody was happy. So we also the first two niggas that put suits on and said, we're going to throw our own shit. We're going to throw our own shit, and y'all can just come and come take this shit. They, they, we, we didn't, no, no, you, you pay us for the footage. That's what you can come do. But we set out, we, we got our own building. We sold our own tickets. Packed the bitch out. We did that ourselves. Ourselves. Can't anybody say that they put that thing together and sold it themselves? No, no. My thing is, I think me and you is the best battle of all time for sure. I was just confused or impactful. That's all, right, all so, I'm saying. So, okay, so, let's, okay, let's switch this up then. Who do but you I, think, that think has, you know. has a magical okay. performance? And that can be one-sided, right? Somebody where you just felt like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, verse what? Oh, okay, like, okay, 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 okay. Look, because okay, then it becomes, because, because see, that's not fair. Because the the answer the answer that a nigga may give, like if there's a person who's just beating up on his opponent, like that, like that doesn't have much replay value. So we could sit up here and say, on but on just that, take his performance into account. Yeah. Then, then, but then is what it's like. Somebody like Soul Converse, Jay Fox, or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't, no, it, do, it doesn't hold. It doesn't hold as much. Nah, you don't you think so. Like, nah. like, 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 you don't feel don't like you see so, somebody. But I don't. I don't think that's because he beat up on Jay Fox. I, th I think Socon just wasn't like all time great, man. He was really good. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, at that time, people considered that the biggest body of all times, and Socon at that time was one of those guys. Whether is, bo is, is, is bodies not rewatchable? Whether I, I, no bodies aren't rewatchable, bro. They are. You got to make it look good. <laughs> the green, the green. No, no, no. Body, body, bodies are. It depends. It depends. Like I said, nobody. Uh, nobody uh, look for as good as Tyson was, was when he was knocking niggas out. We was mad. We, we was mad. mad. We was mad. We mad. No, but they go watch. They go watch. They go watch Charlie Clips or Rex for clips. They go watch. They go keep. They keep watching that. No, nah, but look. But look. Guess what? Look, guess what? Clips beating me. Them. Them views ain't that high. But that's just because people. But that's just because people don't. Yeah, it was a different. Yeah. No, we we yeah. talk. It's of of course different battles gonna be different. But mm -hmm. I'm saying it's a bunch of bodies that niggas go and still watch, and the other person got smoked. Like it's a bunch. You know what oh, that's what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. It, 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 it's a few of them. It, it, yeah, it's a few of them. Where I like watching one. It like kind of where you like. I like his shit. His shit was wicked. Give me, give me, give me an example. Because some of the biggest bodies I saw, I watched once and was like, oh, this is difficult to watch. And that was it, for sure. Nigga, Sway and O-Red, I watched once. I'm about to redo the survey, but people aren't really getting the question. I watched yeah. once. Sway and Young Cannon, I watched once. Like, what's, an, like, what's another, body? another body? Okay. Um, who we watch this one? Let me think. Let me think. Hold on. Hold on. A body bag that you watch. Body. You know what? Y'all might be fucking right. We don't I'm watch body bags. Bro, you, you, you watch them like, man, this is... Because this, I, I, I think, think for us... Hold on. I'm going to think... I, we I, missing think a lot, us, bro. Hold on. I think for us, it's difficult... It's difficult to, even if you don't fuck with a person, it's difficult to see somebody in your field fail. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, God damn, dog. That's 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 hard to watch. From for me, I'll say for me. You know what I'm saying? But not, but you got you got to look at it as fans, though. Fans not looking at it like you. Fans like, man, I'm gonna watch you get smoked again, idiot. Like. We watch that. It's like, somebody like, 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 like niggas don't go back. Don't go back. Like niggas, niggas don't watch go back a verb SB. Niggas go watch a verb SB all the time. Girl SB just, girl time. just texted me and said, uh, "Clips and Rock is one they watch over and over." The first Clips and Rock. Yeah, niggas go always go watch that over. Niggas not going niggas back not watching going back. John and Jack Boy. Niggas not watching. Niggas that. Not watching. Man, niggas going back to watch that. Niggas yes, going back. It's too, it's too my, it's too it's too much of it's too much of magical moments and. The, you gotta go watch that again. It wasn't just like standing in a room with ten people, nigga, just getting smoked. It was too much, nigga. Chain, you see rock going crazy, you see dropping droop. Like it's too much that went on that you, for you to not want to go watch that again. Yeah, uh, yeah, you right. Look, right. you know what? You know what? I may be incorrect because I just got a tweet. Man. Shout outs to uh, uh, the people at IVC Company. She just hit me and said, "I put flower on Jack's grave every year." I just so may, so maybe it's just me. So maybe it's just not me. not not ask her body John John fan. I'm if she a John John fan, it makes sense. I I'd, I'd rather watch the fight. I don't want to see a nigga get beat up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know that, saying? but you're what in about, the sport. What about, what about hold on? What about gun titles versus NWX? 
That's not a body. The first one. The first one. Yeah, the first one was. The first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First one. The first one. Niggas used to. Yeah, niggas used to go walk running around. No, no. The first one. Yeah, you're right. They went twice. The first one was wicked. Wicked. Yeah, NWX won the second. We ain't talking about the second. The first one. Yeah, the first one was wild. First one, first one was wild. Yeah, but that's like, that's like one of the that's like one of the top five most viewed battles on URL. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. What was going to watch that? But, you, but, but, but you're also talking. Talk, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, you're also talking about a battle that 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 rock, two serve, two serve, DNA, DNA. Like, yeah. like, like, what are you expecting? What are you expecting? It's at six point five million. The new format. The new format. Nobody I mean, had ever seen K Rock in and 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 and, 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 and in that form. Like, I, 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 what do you expect? What do you expect? I mean, to be fair, you know, I don't like really saying these names and shit. I like fans to really bring it up, but you know, they say my first body in a body, me body in Austin. They call that a body. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Nobody goes back. Nobody. Nobody. Nope. Nobody goes back and watches. Miles versus Miles Rich. Versus That's Rich. the first body in URL history. Nobody watches that. Uh, I do. No, that wasn't that wasn't the first battle in what what no, car that was, was that on? Body. That was the first body no, in said, URL. No, I said no. I mean that that, that wasn't the first body. What car was that on? That was the very that first car. Very first car. I would say it's Big T, Big T, Body D can cross cross on that car too though. So here, whoever here's battle what first. Here's what I think. That's what I say. And I know <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. Deacon Frost won that third round, bro. He can cross and won that third round. That's all I'll say. Just go back. Uh, and hey, look, I got a fun hey, look, fact, for, fun you, fact for you, Grady. All right, URL has over a million some subscribers. K Shine and DNA versus Gun Titles is at six point five million. Me and Hitman versus K Shine and DNA on a on a platform that has four hundred and forty seven thousand oh. subscribers is at three point four million in the same time frame. Them numbers the same. Them numbers, yeah, yeah, they fine. Them numbers the same, bro. Like four. So look, look, hey, uh, don't flop has like hey, hold up. My left shit didn't cut out. I didn't even hear you. Uh, okay, I said, uh, gun titles versus NWX is at six point five million views with over a million subscribers on that channel. Me and Hitman versus versus NWX is at three point five million on a on a channel that has four hundred and forty seven thousand. We're short over. 700,000 people. Wait, man, Big T might, might be in the whip. Big so? T might be in the whip. So? Yeah, I know. Hey, okay. yeah, we yeah, first, hey, we don't talk. hey, but listen, a lot of niggas treated me. They watch Sirius Jones kill Jen over and over. And they say Big T and Hollow. They go back to that battle, too. But, yeah, man, but, 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 but the only reason people watch Sirius and Jen is because battle rap was so new to the masses. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And that's, that, that's a... That was on that. That's that's Fight Club. That's MTV. This is the first time mm. that many, that that many people are introduced to this, unless they're hardcore fans. So now the people who watch, watch, I, who are I think it, I, I think it got something to do with how big of the name, how big it, if the, the if the other name big, because niggas don't go watch Calico and Newborn, and that was a body. Yeah, probably no, don't go don't. back and watch that a lot though. But I think because you know it ain't a fight. Nah, yeah, he just, his name ain't big. Want the fight? Want the fight? His name ain't back and forth. Hey, yeah, too. Hey, yeah, too. Uh, you, you're right. Fight, too. And by that, that fight club, that that was a first too. I'm about to take this shit up. You know, I got a t some, some battle shit on TV. More, I'm gonna send you this shit. I'm gonna get y'all to pull up and shit. You hear me? Oh yeah, pull up. But yeah. it's that was the first time that we seen that shit to that magnitude. So yeah. I mean, so Jones got one in. He gotta have one in for sure. For sure. So it's like, so it's like, and the people who were 12, 13, 14 watching that, they'll go back to it now because it's so readily available. Like, oh shit, I remember this. This puts me in a space of, of nostalgia. Not mm. because of the battle. It's because this is the thing that turned them on to the culture. Mm. That was right. a, that was a lot. That was, that was, that was the time that a lot of, a, a lot of average or 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 people who weren't deep into the culture who didn't know about the scribble jams and the yeah, double bar right. c's and shit like mm -hmm. that this was the first time they had ever seen this you know what you, i'm saying so that, that's you why you. that stands out he, but Mar, no, no, Mar, fully right. i'm with you you know what the other thing is too sometimes it's a body because of a moment it's not just a body just because a body. it was a completely I agree. I agree. people want to go back and go back that moment like the I whole know. uh 
DMX caught him for trying to cook one of his dogs and all that. People were seeking out that line because it debuted. That was people. a body, though. That was a body, though. I know what you're saying, though. Yeah. That was a body. But you know what? Conceded an ill match. Yeah. Yeah, people don't go back and watch it. And that was wild. wild and Khan man. went crazy. <laughs> <off his fucking mind. laughs> hey, Khan is retarded, though. Khan was ahead of his time, though. Man, <laughs> but nigga, that girl forgot about dumbfounded. Man, but here's the thing, though, in my opinion. Dumbfounded never looked like he cared. So it was all like, oh, he good. We know he good. But this nigga. He's showing up. He playing to the camera. He the little nigga. He fly. Woo -woo -woo -woo. It's like, yeah. oh, he's the he's the. We like him. The, yeah, he's cool. We like him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the and at the time, not even being funny because I think dumbfounded is terrifying as a battler. But at that time, no, I had seen nobody rapping like conceited. That was horrifying. Yeah, yeah I only seen I only seen him versus Khan. That's the only guy I ever watched, and I was I'm like, this nigga good. So and, like, and, 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 and then and then Khan do that shit to be blinking his eyes and shit. Bro, yeah, that whole, bro, whole thing. That whole that whole song doesn't get the credit. You know what? The jungle itself doesn't get enough credit for what it brought to modern battle rap, in my opinion. It's shaped. Like, it's shaped. Like, you're right. It's you're right. A lot bro. of shit. You're right. You're right. It's a lot of shit, bro. Like them niggas. Like, cause it, I mean, when you when you do that, when you say stuff like jungle, that's just like street status. <laughs> like I all agree, that I stuff, agree. a lot I of agree. stuff. You know what I'm saying? You right. The only, the only difference is the only difference is is where where street status had two three niggas standouts. Jungle had a whole crew of it, like legit, legit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Heartless QP and all them niggas. Nigga, yeah. with nigga, with cocky, cocky, like all them niggas were like they were they were different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they was, bro. That they was, bro. I, so I'll <laughs> never, I'll never take that away from the niggas. But conceited I was terrifying, bro. Nobody, I had nobody. It was the time if you would have put that on on Twitter, you were about to see it. You would have got a thousand you, tweets saying you gonna get smoked, nigga. You gonna say? you smoke, nigga. I turned that battle down so many times. I like, you know, know, some hella rewatchable you know, bodies. Briz. <laughs> that Arsenal that shit. Arsenal the Loso shit. The one round, one round joint versus Loso. Can a one rounder be a That shit at damn near 2 million. Yo, this young Gil and yeah. T-Rex one of the best. Rock, young Gil and T-Rex one of the best battles ever. Elvers, Rex. One round joint. Yeah, that's that. What'd you say? What'd you say, direct? No, I said they're multiple classes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ill and Rex is wild. I came in front of that. That was, yeah. that was, that was, yeah, that was, that was dumb. Man, nigga, remember that run? Hey, look, this is, I know I have a lot of flight for this, bro. I'm not saying he's the best. I'm not saying he's the best. But in my opinion, T Rex is the greatest battle rapper of all time, bro. Let me nah, say, I wouldn't say that. Let me say why. Let me. What y'all say? I miss Rex. Look, I'm not saying Rex is the greatest. I'm not saying he's the best. I'm not saying he's the best. But I'm greatest. The only reason I say that is because T Rex is the only nigga from my era. Five different eras. Never took a break. You know what I'm saying? Who never, who never took a break, and up until, and up until the tragedy that he had with his family, like T Rex was still like the nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I'll I'll never take that away from that. And I know fans like to jump shit. You know, and like you know, I, what I I'm forgot saying? to talk about. Like, I when, forgot to talk about Rex because he 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 been something in every era. Like he been he, he's been no he's been that nigga. He been legit. Uh, and I'm saying he has not up, been that nigga. He's not that nigga now. But understand what I'm saying. Understand what I'm saying. Up until up until shit, life changed where something where he experienced something. That may have thrown him for a loop. You know what I'm saying? Up until then, he Rex was that nigga. Wow. He may not have been the most popular. He may not have been whatever. But when you put him on a stage, nigga, he's electrifying. He's legit. He was uh, uh, electrifying in every era. DVD, radio. Not, not versus Nitty. Bro, understand what I'm saying. Up until the shit happened with his nephew. Up until then. Okay, okay I, that, hear you. I don't count. That's different. That's a it's life. That, that's a it's, life. Been eight, it's been eight no. years since that. And I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm with you. But, 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 but under, I'm but, with you, but it's been yeah, like eight years. How dare you put? How dare you niggas put a cap, nigga, on something like that? 
How dare no, you? No, but I'm, I'm, we're, we're not we're not putting a cap on it. Like, respect to what happened in his life, but he hasn't been that nigga you're saying yourself for eight years. So why are we saying I'm, in every era? I'm saying, I'm saying for 12 to 15 years, Rex was the headliner. Mook was the myth. Lux was a myth. Rex was the headliner. Everywhere he went, shut shit down. Went on a string of one ba- of one round battles that rival most niggas' career. Went on a TV show, shut everything down. Was on every summer madness, won every time it mattered. Legit and never took a break. Beat niggas he shouldn't have beat with mixtape verses. I'm telling you, T Rex is the greatest battle rapper of all time. He's so the who, but so uh, who would you who would you argue if you're not talking about uh, Rex? You're just talking about greatest. Who else would be in that argument? Uh, I think you put Verb in the argument. I think you put Disaster in the argument. I think you put Hitman in the argument. Tay Rock. I think, I think you put Solomon in the argument. I do think you put Tay Rock in the argument. It's a lot of niggas you can argue. I'm just, and and yeah. I and I'll only, I'll only speak for me personally. I'll never say it's law. You know what I'm saying? Just so, for me. So it's from me. Just being around. Yeah. From being around from where, <clears throat> nigga, when I was doing MTV, this is the nigga that they was talking about. When I was in meetings at Interscope, this is the nigga that they was talking about. Like, nigga, when niggas was going to different cities and niggas was like, yo, you ever battled such, like, you ever battled such and such? And he was the nigga they was talking about. I'm saying before it became popular to be a battle rapper, T-Rex was a popular battle rapper. He's so, like the greatest for so, me. So maybe a pioneer. Mar, Mar, He's definitely let me, a pioneer. Let, let, let me raise you this. I'm just going to take one of the people you said and like raise the argument, right? Mm-hmm. So let's take Iron. We put Iron against T-Rex. To me, the standout difference is maybe T-Rex started a little bit earlier than Iron. Iron had crossover success. He had the MTV. Him and Mook was the battle at the time, which seemed like, oh, whoever wins this is going to be the best battle rapper ever. Mm-hmm. And then it's like Iron has modern day classics and a, a greater longevity than T-Rex has. So, so like, how do you how do you argue back against that and say T-Rex is greater than Iron? I would argue workload. I would argue the number of battles in which Rex in which Rex fucking performed to a level as opposed to Solomon's. It's kind of like the earlier consistency argument. If you're saying, because Solomon has been great in every battle except one, in my opinion. That's the agreed, agreed. You know, he's been great in every battle except one. But if you're saying, nigga, Solomon is 19 of 20, and everything, everything up until the, up, everything up until the tragedy that Rex had, man, Rex was clicking on all cylinders, bro. He was clicking on all. But you, cylinders. but you, but you gotta count that though. Like when we talk about athletes, <sighs> like, like athletes have tragedy. They, they, they have a crazy Super Bowl loss. Something happened in their family. Whatever. It's always what defines their story is the comeback. Like, how did, it, how no, did Tiger no, no. Woods get that last Masters? Not how true. did this person? No, come? that's not true. The com- the comeback doesn't the comeback doesn't always doesn't always define the story. Uh, how you deal with adversity doesn't always define the story. If my body of work up until this tragedy, and it may be a thing where it's like, yo, you maybe you shouldn't be doing this, or maybe it does it it does take away or it it taints what you the some of the groundwork you've laid. But, but Mar- Marv, so you're saying like. So from like 2000 to 2012, like, he was on the, the side reason of the I, The only reason I got to disagree with you more of is, granted, like I say, uh, rest in peace to, to bro, nephew, and all that. And, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to his family and everything. I fucks with it. But I'm, I'm saying in that aspect, a lot of people have dealt with that and worse tragedy. They probably just didn't bring it up in a battle or something to where the world knew, but they continue to, you know what I'm saying? Like, so mm-hmm. you can't say after a tragedy like because then we all will have excuses like you know what i mean like salute to hit man up here he just went through something with with, with his wife and his mm-hmm. family i done went through losses mm-hmm. his whole career of just best friends homies loved ones family members dying and all this that i don't even bring up i'm pretty sure you have lost yeah <laughs> you get me within this time frame of you battling all of us you know what i'm saying niggas mothers and all that you know what i'm saying all type of different shit. so i think like you have to still count what happened after it to to factor in? Like I think Rex is one of the greatest, but to say the greatest and then you got a downside 
to the career uh, uh, is like kind of disjustice to those who never had I, those nail songs. That's fair. I, I won't argue that. And I'm, 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 I can definitely say that I'm, I'm probably speaking from a much more personal, a much more fact, personal fact. No, he, he, no, no fact. Hell because yeah, he's one of my favorites. If a nigga asks me, I'm always vouch for him too. So I know what you're saying for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying at the time before niggas was outside, Rex was outside. Like when, like when I was out here, like when I was like really, really cared about that, trying to be the best battle rapper in the world, Rex was outside. So it was like, and he was always outside. Like it wasn't a thing of, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I can, I can definitely say that I'm, I'm speaking from a space of, of seeing it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, more firsthand. So I'll, I'll, I'll make no, I'll make no, 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 no arguments about that. But I'm saying, for as, for as, as mythical. For as mythical as Mook is, for as mythical as Lux is, I don't think that battle rap would have transitioned to where it is without Rex. And I think I think that that really, I think that that really really is a testament to, to I'm what, you why I what agree. he was doing. My I'm tell you why I agree. I had caught on a combo late. I was on the phone, but um, I'm just talking about Rex because. Rex from the era that we all wanted to be in too. Marv, you from the era too. Mm -hmm. Like, so, you know, we all looked up like, damn, that nigga Rex on that doing this thing. You know, he from that era. And then when it was time for this era, he got a moment in this era that was critical. Well, I know this is probably another era, but the sector, our era, no, no, Diddy put 10,000 up. Like, put, yeah. to see somebody like Diddy, dude, he did that at Rex battle. He ain't do that Mook battle. He ain't do that whoever else battle. He did that at T Rex battle. So that was so that that did so much for the battle rap culture, bro. Just for you know what I'm saying, the Harlem and a bet on the Harlem verb got something to do with that, you know, STL do it. But mm -hmm. for him to for T Rex to be a part of that and then still five years later from that, still be headlined over that verse bill. Like he mm -hmm. just it's just you gotta get like nobody's never done that. The only thing Rex got on me is that he's from the era before me. <laughs> so he literally been, and he can go get a main event battle right now. Like they might go pay him a main event something just because the shit, the way he talk on the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to see him talk. Everybody want to see him talk shit. He's somehow been relevant mm -hmm. in every era of battle rap. And, and I think, and I think in the era where Mook and Lux seemed un, unreachable, Rex, we all looked at Rex like, okay, I can he 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 won't turn down a fade, like legit, and I think that really really counts. He was out here giving yeah. niggas, he was out here giving niggas one round work that should have never been in the ring with him, legit. Yeah, I think, I think Arsenal the greatest battle rapper of all time, and you can make an argument for that. You can, I make, you I can, you can, you can make an argument, like I said, you make a great argument for Arsenal because, like I said, he the first one. Got on a move. He the first one was an independent contractor. His battle rap, like he the first. Then he started his own league. Then he, he did so much for the. Oh, yeah, that, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's why I be so mad because people be thinking I just be mad when they be yelling out names and not saying mine as far as the other guys. But I'm like the names they be yelling out ain't did half of the stuff is my peers, bro. Like real talk, bro. The nigga Arsenal started a whole league. On top of battling in every other league, giving every other league millions, he got a hundred million views. Like, how the fuck could somebody else be like the names they be naming? That that ain't even close. Like, I yeah, fuck he with has a top five battle of all time on that channel. Yeah, on what like, channel? You dub Lux versus Hollow. Oh, uh, Lux versus Hollow. You talking? He, he booked the. He booked the. He booked. He booked a lot of battles over there on that league that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they that bring it into the culture. Yeah, yeah, like for him to be, and then on top of battling in 26 other damn countries and still being Arsenal, like that's a lot of stuff when we start putting forefront of battle rappers to the front. What the fuck have you done for this culture? Like I say a lot of names, and I, don't, I hate be saying names, talking bad about them when I ain't on here, but other names of people they be saying just ain't really did enough. But I shout out Lux, though, because Lux did have lines then. Key league in the culture. We needed that. We got Tay Rock versus Clips. We got Good versus um K Shine. He, had, he brought us some big time matches for the league. Agree with that. And he still came outside in every other, you know what I'm saying, era. I respect that. But the mother guys, bro, ain't done enough, man. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you can't tell me what you've done for the culture to push it around for the last seven, eight years, 
you can't be in front of this conversation. Period, bro. I think the answer to that question is Arsenal. I don't think, when especially when you add in the travel, making his own league and booking one of the top ten battles of all time on that league. I, that answer got to be Arsenal. That's right. Marv, Marv, I, I mean, I mean, we can argue, we can argue hit man too, but I'm gonna let Arsenal have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let Arsenal have it. I'm gonna say I for Arsenal too, though. Just for the simple fact, I think his league pushes more because me being on TV and bringing eyes to the battle rap is cool. But he really had a successful lead, like for a moment, like you know what I'm saying. He booked me versus O Red, me, you know what I'm saying, like me versus Shug, Sarone versus Tay Rock, and like he got some real shit over there. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, man, Austin did, you know, I, Austin could be front runner. What's up, y'all? I said this the other day too. Um, I said that a lot of people, I don't see how it's so many legends in battle rap because a lot of people have not contributed back to the culture. Like if you've been here 10, 15 years and you've done nothing to help put nobody in position, no platforms, I don't understand how you could be a legend. I really don't. My only question to that is what do you consider is, is, is giving back to the culture? Because that, and, and I think when you made, I think. Do you, you consider what? Status, I said, uh, what do you consider? giving back to the culture because when you make when you made that status i definitely think that i commented on it like what do you i consider? think he was one of them yeah, okay yeah, so yeah, someone on there i think it was either like i think it was organic or somebody they was like well if you battle pe newer people is that giving back uh, I, I don't really i mean i don't consider that because i mean we a lot of us do that what i consider it is either trans transcending battle rap and bringing more eyes to it like how you know for instance, Hitman clips them. They're on Wild and Out now. We a couple of us have chances to be on Wild and Out and bring that fan base back to circle it back around the battle rap. That's to <laughs> me is still doing something more than just taking a lower name and giving him some love. No, that's but, not. But that's yeah. but, but Bonnie, you're talking about super happy for everybody who had the opportunity. But you're talking about four people. You're no, I know that. I know that. But I'm five. saying one one thing that I would consider. I consider transcending it and bringing eyes. I consider building a platform i consider things like that like how not to even toot my own horn but there was no girls on cards when i stepped outside and started going everywhere there was no there was no girl battle on every card i was me and a, me c3 a couple of us were the only few that was like no we need a girl on every car even if it's not us it has to be a girl battle on every car things like that make you feel like you have a legend status to me you're putting on for the entire culture not just yourself well bonnie i feel like there's a certain way like you can put them on and it kind of adds you to the like for instance talking about arsenal or even we're talking about hitman geek what hitman did your mic your mic messing up your mic messing up can you hear me yeah there you go uh, i said what hitman did with john john was giving back to the culture you know what i'm saying he elevated john john to a whole nother status and allowed john john to do the same for others what arsenal did was shoddy horror you know what i'm saying that was monumental like, like he, he he helped a whole overseas scene yeah, that was facts. Over That's head, the you know fact. what I'm saying yeah. so I think there are certain battles you know what I'm saying even even Geechee taking a re the uh, rematch against Award just now I feel like that is giving back to the culture you know what I mean because what you help what you doing you building people's whole scenes by validating them you know what I'm saying and you adding you adding to the top tier like there's certain people that everybody John John knows. and Jack too John John did that for Jack yeah exactly I mean it didn't go the, the same way, but yeah, yeah, he gave him yeah, the shot. Gave him that, get that, yeah, that's gave on a, on the biggest stage of you know what I'm saying, Jack career. Like that stuff matter, and like you said, it just trickled down. So me giving back, like you said, to John John, hey, he grew his name and was able to do the same, and you know what I'm saying. But I I, I forgot about how Arsenal went over there and then I'll put the light on that whole battle rap league that overseas. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. was crazy. That was crazy. A lot of us went to London too. You know what I'm saying? And went over there and did our thing. And uh, I think past and Hollow happened in London. <laughs> yeah. So that and that and that was going to be that was going to be my next question specifically. So Bonnie, by by your by your definition, is is Pat Stay a legend? Um, not by mine, my personal preference of the definition of the word, but he's a staple. Like there's a, there's a lot of words that we don't use. Like staple is a good word. It's a I respect that, but you're you're also talking about the thing. like you're literally talking about the thing. like you're talking. About Say that again. You're cutting out. That means legitimately a legend. The, the reason why I'm gonna say he a legend. The reason why he a legend because he a legend on where he, where he from. Like that grind time or KOT. My father's a KOTD. He KOTD right. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he a legend there. So once you're a legend where you're from, the only thing that's stopping you from being a legend to complete battle rap is when you cross over. And he crossed over and took a lot of names over there. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be. It's like, you know what I'm saying? But like we're not took, talking about crossing over and taking names. Aren't we talking about, in some part, expanding the culture? Is that not what you're talking about? He from, he from, he from Canada. Yeah. He's from Canada. That's why he's expanding. You are, you come, yeah, you come yeah he expanded. Yeah, he expanded. He's from Canada. I'd probably put Sharon over Pat. Come I'm, To be real with you, I'd put Sharon over Pat for Legend nah, Status. Hey, only because... Only because number one, how can she can't you? Sharon had I more like batches. Both legends. I think all, both, all, yeah. all I'm saying is all I'm saying is Bonnie, realistically. Pat Pat literally legitimized battling over there. Like legit. He was the one person that anybody that's from America saw him was like, Oh, okay, they got rappers over there. Like legit. Like Sharon is great. Sharon is a fucking problem. Was Pat Stay but Pat Stay one before the Diz though, was he? I'm talking about Canada. I'm talking about Canada. Yeah, he's, he's talking oh, about Canada. Canada. Oh, you're talking about he's Canada. Talking about oh, okay. For Canada. He, he, oh, yeah, exactly. Hey, that's what I'm saying. He was the king of his where he from first. So he but that's where y'all losing me. Did. Y'all losing huh? me, though, because y'all losing me. Because So just the people that started it are automatically legends, whether no. they give back nah, or nah, not. Listen to, no, listen to what I say after us. The reason he wasn't a legend because what he did over there. But he a legend because he was a legend where he from and then came over here and did it also. He's, that's what make him really a legend. He a legend where he from, and then came over here and took the top, the top battle rappers and held his own. And people just call him one of the best performers ever. Like that's they that gotta qualify you. You know what I'm saying? You can, if, if he want if he won the best where he was from, then he came over here had some cool battles or whatever. It's like cool. But when you the best where you from, all you gotta do is come over here and maintain. <laughs> Hey Holly, hey Holly, y'all talking about giving back? Or you talking about legend status? That's what I'm trying to understand. Like yeah, for like, me, I don't back. call somebody a legend unless they're giving back. Yeah, that's what for back, me separates you. But that, but like that, giving back, like giving shots to niggas, that's dope. But like we're not gonna act like niggas don't have to get paid some crazy number. Like, man, that's what oh, I'm like, saying. Like, like giving back could be like starting a league, like bullpen or riot, to, like oh, putting your bro, niggas past state, but bro, if oh, past state from Canada, right? He no, battled yeah. when he come, when he come over here and battle, and then he go back over there and take them little names or whatever he doing. That's giving back. Yeah, that's wild to me. I'm I'm saying that man literally. If it wasn't for him, they would not have a scene. Period. Yeah. That is legendary. Yeah. That's, le- that's legit legendary. Every that's person. What I'm arguing my, too. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I, I, and I understand what you're saying, Bonnie. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to give the impression that everybody's path has to be the same because everybody doesn't necessarily have aspirations of being a league owner or any anything like that. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to though. You don't have to. You could just so, know that one celebrity and be like, "Look, how can uh, look? You like battle rap? You like what we doing? But, how about you come in and invest some money? It, it doesn't but, have to be a league." But, but that. But that. But that isn't that. That doesn't mean some have legendary. Stuff. What I'm saying is, without this person, that scene would not exist. All right, like, hold Marv, he, Marv, with that line, know, this bro. is nasty words. Hey, Marv, with that, because that was a great comment, bro. Would you say Jazz give back because she found twerk? No, nigga, no, no, no. I'm just not doing that. I, I, I'm I, just mean, saying, why, I mean, why? I no, mean, no, no. That, why don't that count? Now y'all talking about discovery and shit. Now that don't discovery, I mean, like, some, discovery, is. discovery, not a league owner. That discovery got to count though. Yeah, no, discovery no, count. No, no, discovery when, count. When no, 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 no. When we talk about, no, no, talk about no, Jay Z no. being the goat, you don't talk about how he put Ye on. He put talk first about Jay Z's discography first. Don't discredit the Jay Z. We don't talk about his moves first. We talk about what he did. But you don't bring you that said up. When we talk saying? about Jay Z, we talk. We don't talk about Ye. We don't talk about Ye first. No, we don't talk about Ye first. We talk about Jay Z. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just That's saying you don't what you bring just that said, up. Bro. No, what we're saying is that no. but Jay Z a legend because of what he did too. But when you put people on, that's that's what you, that's becoming legend. So she put somebody on who transcended battle rap. How can you not I, I, what what's the I'm confused. So she, now we're so that makes you a legend. Like y'all just got this word all no, over. No, no, no. That makes you a legend on top of, of what's meant to the body. That makes you a legend on top of what else you did. Jazz no. is a battle rap legend because she's a rapper. That's why she a legend. She's and not then, a legend because she found twerk. That's not that's no, not no, the no, no, no. The word. She, no, she a legend because she found twerk twerk on top of being Jazz the rapper. No, bro. I'm not gonna agree with you there. I don't understand it. That's like so, saying okay, Verb. But, so hold on, hold on. Was Verb more of a legend after he found official? No, because Verb is Verb. 
But just no, still, but when you're talking though. about why verbs so great, you bring up. Yeah, he. <laughs> nobody, you bring up I've everything. never heard nobody bring it up besides three people in life that he found official. Period. But get the official, not New Jersey twerk. I'm neither. the third one. I'm the third one. Official is not New Jersey twerk. Jose, it doesn't matter. Who, she who transcended. She got in. She okay, got she in. and and that's why we said verb. That's why we said verb legend for that also. But what I'm saying is, jazz the rapper is a battle rap legend. Cool. But if she found something and brought it to battle rap that transcended battle rap, just like a league would do. If I if I started a league that didn't transcend battle rap, do that matter? Because I started a league. If you started if it didn't a league, battle rap, if I started a battle rap and then nobody from my battle league made it all trash. Do that, do that count for Jazz finding New Jersey twerk who transcended more than my battle league? What's one count for, what, what's one count most? I don't know what you mean. The league doesn't matter just because you find it one person. The league so matters you because said, you're giving you people said, listen, hey man, let me finish. The league matters because you're giving people paid opportunities and time and a platform to do something. It's not about one person. Exactly. It's about starting so, something with exactly. multiple people. Exactly. So if twerk started a whole movement of forty thousand battle rappers by himself. And Jazz discovered That's that. That's Twerk's legend. The stop, why are you giving her... Because you know, Jazz, found, Jazz found It him. doesn't matter. So she takes credit for what Twerk does from now on. Who after, says after she, takes she, credit, she takes credit for finding him? What you him. just said, though, is if Twerk starts 40,000, that would be Twerk's legendary stats. And, ja and Jazz do. get credit for that because Jazz found him. What are you talking All right, about? Sir. All right, sir. Yo, yo, bon Bonnie, what Hitman is saying is there's like there's like 10, not, not an exact number, but let's say there's like 10 different criteria from being a legend, some way more than others, others. And discovery can be a part of that. So if that's a part of your resume. Mean. That's it, really. And also, let me just say this real quick. I don't know why people keep taking credit for finding official. I'm the one who found official. I don't know where people talk crazy. You no, know, Verb, the one that said that he found No, no. He, he might have direct. He might have said okay. that bring him up, but I'm the one. Okay, I'll just say I don't know who found. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Crazy, I never heard Verb say that. That's why I'm like, these niggas who you are in the culture, nigga. Tell me. <laughs> no, nah, you know nah, what? Nah, no, 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 no. You know, you know what? No, no, no. Direct. No way, direct. My fault, y'all. Not to cut nobody off. Direct. Hold on, hold on. Now that I think about it, Verb did bring her up back in the world one tournament. Yeah, and yeah, that's what I first met her. So you found her before that. So I can check the date for you. I got the footage on my phone. She was battling some nigga at some hole in the wall. And uh, when I was living in Houston, I was there with Young Ill. Um, she killed this nigga, and I immediately called Debo, didn't pick up, put her on the phone with Babs for like 15 minutes. Get this girl on Queen of the Ring right now. I don't care. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, fly her out. And then she had her uh, that first debut Queen of the Ring battle. A a verb saw so after that. Now, now, Verb brought her up in a one round in St. Louis yeah, in World Verb War. And she and we and I asked her, "Who are you?" She like, "I'm from New Orleans. I've been doing my thing. I think that's how. Yeah, I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but our first battle before anybody knew it was in St. Louis, and that's yeah. when he fought the other that's guy. That's when I seen it. Yeah, Saya and all them niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah no, 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 fuck that. Tell these niggas who you are. Tell these niggas. Okay, okay, say this, say this, say this. Verb, you could say, and of course, check the dates. I'm gonna call Verb on this, but. You can say Verb found it, but I'm the one who got her on Queen of the Ring. We could do it like that. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, that's all for sure. Talk your shit, talk your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's different criteria of legendary statuses, is what y'all saying. All right, so I thought we was agreeing on one definition. That's why I was lost. Legendary criteria for y'all. Finding people make you a legend, I'm saying that make like niggas like Norbs and them legends, but like Battle Rap 2, right? Well, like, because he, well, you know, he had his own league, so all the play, all the lot, I'm sure. He got a lot of talent from his league that, you know what I'm saying? That probably, you know, just like we said with leagues. Anytime you have a league, you're in a great chance to become. No, I'm a, a, a battle rap legend. I mean, here, a battle rap legend for sure. Because yeah. you ain't got to be a battle rapper to be a battle rap legend. Yeah. We understand that, right? And respectfully, respectfully, it's a lot of niggas who would not be around if it weren't for Norbs. Honestly. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying like battle rap legend, like not bad, like D-Rec is a yeah. legend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like D-Rec. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Beasley, like you know what I'm saying. Beasley, a battle rap legend, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. So it, it's just all about. Cause when, if I can see your, if I can say your name and, and something like when you think of direct, you think of a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like damn, man, he was that. He the reason because he the reason because of that. Boom, 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 boom. Like that make you a bat. If you got anything legendary tied to your name, 
You gotta be some legendary tie to your name too. That's Technically, we, we all fucking legends at this point because when you look at the definition, it say a famous or notable person. Like we all that. Yes, it's different. It's different. Here is a legend. Yeah, is it? You gotta understand. Newborn, newborn is a legend. He's in a different, in a different way. Like back then, like him getting like I don't want to say legend. Okay, maybe I'm saying the wrong thing. <laughs> no, you said what you said. You said what you said. Nah, like, 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 what, like, like, not what I mean by legend. It's just legend. A lot of us are part of legendary moments. Yeah, I can, I can, I can appreciate okay. that. So there's a lot uh, of vets with legendary moments. We can say that there's a lot of vets that have yeah. legendary moments. Yeah. It's so like so kind. It's so kind of legend. For for for, for, for his time, for his with time legendary moments. For now, I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say no because no. And it's crazy for me to say that, but it's when we talk about longevity, right? There was a moment where you might have said he's a legend. In 2011, you might have been like, Soul Khan's a legend. But as the years go by, it's like, how long can you put these titles if yeah. they don't have that longevity? That's why, that's why I asked that off the fly. I knew, you know, yeah, exactly. Okay. Bet, bet, bet. So, just, so that's for like Soul Khan and Rich Dollars and, and all them guys. They not legends. You know what you know what we gotta do? We gotta look at it like the uh Hall of Fame. You know, every year with the NFL, how they always be arguing over who goes into the Hall of Fame. I think just because you were great don't mean you make the Hall of Fame. That's how I look at legendary status. So if everybody like now that's a good thing. I like that one. So like let's say five let's say this is five years just went by. Battle rap stopped today, and then five years went by. You get you get let's say ten. Let's say ten just to make it so you can add more enough people. Who first ballot? The first 10. First ballot. Hall of Fame. Battle rap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rex, Rex, Mook, Mook, Lux, Verb, Mook. Arsenal. Disaster. Disaster. Conceded might have to go on there. Conceded have to go on there. No. Wow. Conceded, Conceded might be the second year. Yeah. Yeah. Hitman would go before Conceded, I think. I would go before a lot of them niggas. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Man, you know what? Jeez, this why is, did you start this? This is to an ego. This nigga just, he, he just was naming real freely without. Hey, bro, real talk, bro. Real talk, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> let, let me just tell you something, bro. Because you tell me I would go before conceited. What do we na- well, What gets you into this list, Greedy? I want, I'm i talking to Greedy, y'all, because Greedy real now. I've been seeing what he be doing. What gets you on this list, Greedy? Um, salute, man. Um, okay, so for me, I'm weighing in impact. I'm weighing in longevity, uh, strength of schedule, moments, overall level of performance, and win loss. You, you name me eighth or ninth? Oh yeah, boy. You named the nigga with eight battles before me, bro. Well, uh, when I'm when I'm talking Hall of Fame, I weigh uh. Like impact the heaviest, and not in the sense like you've had, you know the the moment impact. That's why I made that its own category. Like Lux and Mook and Rex on the street corners and shit, Lions Den, everything like that. The way they transcended battle rap, I feel like they gotta go first ballot. Yeah, so I know y'all might crucify me for this, like, right? I, I got you things. on there too, but I, they were the first three people like instantly. I had to say. Yeah, I, I know, know y'all they, might crucify me for this, right? But if Luke would have came later on, y'all think he would have still been a legend? Because I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I feel like a lot of people just get it just because they started it and were in opportunities, as opposed to they rose but, to that. But I just told Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie you're right, Bonnie, because I just told Greedy that because on Surre- it's just like transcended battle rap to where? Because when you transcend battle rap, you trans, you take it somewhere, right? But our class is the people that took it somewhere because we was the first ones getting booked for arenas and you know what I'm saying? Stages and venues and all that. So when you say transcendent battle rap, what you mean by like the truth? What I mean by like when I look back and I, when I look back and see like how things went before I was in it, I was like, okay, so Mook was the first one, quote unquote, to if I'll correct me if I'm wrong, get like a record deal type of situation. And maybe I'm wrong. Was he the first one? I think I think Sirius Jones was. I think Sirius Jones was. Okay. Well, I don't really count. I don't really. I don't really count Jay Mills because he was a battle rapper. But when you come before them, like they was battling like for a hobby. Like I can't really explain it because back then, you know, you could just battle with sixteens and seventeens. Like, 
But, you know, like, Loaded Lux was standing on corner battle, and I ain't CJ Mills do that on camera until Moop. If that make all oh, well, Ines. So the impact he had on other battlers is really what gives him the legendary status. He's Not really about, what he did uh, himself. Bonnie, I'm just trying to be clear. Mook? Yeah. He's He's about Mook. Mook. Well, yeah. Well, here's, 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 here's the thing about Mook, and I don't like Hitman, Mar oh, Marvin here no more. He's like Geechee, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can speak to this too. Like, I feel like everybody wasn't prepared to be a battle rapper on that level at the time where Mook was. I feel like he understood the mission and he was able to do things that at that age and at that time, a lot of other people might have not been able to carry the torch in the same exact way. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think, like, he had dope battles, Party Audi and all these other people. And I think what really made Mook a legend was that Young Hot performance. Not to say it was the most classic battle of all time, but it was kind of like the shot heard around the world. It kind of solidified who Mook was for anybody really testing him. But I think, like, a lot of battlers can say what they want, but I don't think they would have been able to wear that crown during the DVD era the way Mook was. Okay, I get what you're saying. It just be seeming like weird shit to me, though, because a lot of times it'll be like, okay, we giving, just like you said, Young High, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Granted. But, <laughs> um, let's say My we're talking thing. about, but we'll, you'll be, people will be like, oh, but J JC's battling um, fucking Poopy Doo or whoever, so it don't matter. But we'll still give respect to an old battle where one person is clearly unknown and the other one isn't. But then another exactly. thing is Mook had wars. Like Mook and Sirius Jones. But but but, but 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 who transcended? But my thing is y'all give transcended. They transcended the Smack era because I don't think he transcended URL at all. Like not even. I don't think sure. he transcended I, this. I era think he was supposed all. to. Like he was the first battle from what I was looking at. He was the first one that was supposed I, to. Like I think I think the thing was this. I think Smack the Smack DVDs kind of transcended that whole like. Uh, it, it, it transcended culture, right? So where a lot of people might be looking for certain stuff on TV, you could only find this stuff in, in certain places, you would go directly to Smack for it. And I think Mook was a was one of the faces attached to the popularity of that DVD. Uh, the Smack, for sure. So my exactly. thing is now, when you transcend that to, okay, eyes on it, you got to you gotta carry the torch. So when it got to eyes being on it, or whatever you're saying he brought to the DVDs and all that, what happened in 2010 on up? Like, how could you transcend if you're not a part of it? I understand I understand what you're saying, and I'm not, I don't know if I'm necessarily willing to die on the Mook Hill. I'm just saying he's a legend for that first era. No, I, I, think, no I ain't saying, no, yeah. well, we, we talking about yeah. two different things. I know he, I'm not oh. arguing on no legend. No, I could understand that. He's, I'm, I'm going to say that I could see why he's a legend because he inspired other people to want to rap a lot. I'll leave it there battle rap to want a battle rap for sure but my thing is when you start talking about url which started in 2010 my thing is how somebody who haven't been a part of that for real really transcend that like you got to be a part of something you got to push it some kind of way to be to transcend battle rap so you transcend from dvds to to clubs or getting books right but then don't mm -hmm. do nothing else how much credit can we give you? Well, what did what did most people say is the consensus best battle rap event of all time? Summer Madness two, right? Starts the most with yeah, the most names on it. Yeah, they're 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 all on that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, but my thing is we was in the same arena. We was in the same arena a year before without none of those guys. And it was but it wasn't out. that it wasn't summer madness one isn't talked about when they say what's the best events of all time you but know it's, no, it doesn't make a top just, three some, make they top say five. that because of the things that happened there exactly because of, in attendance and not because of the battles because when i'm telling them you it's all though? about selling tickets huh who brought them out though like bust the people Ryan, from their they from their hometown bro that's what i'm trying no, to say like but they still get credit for it you know what i'm saying you get credit for knowing famous people you get credit for bringing them out and making the best battle rap event ever. No, do you get? Do you get? What's, what, okay, what's get, what? Get, what get more credit? Filling up the seats with fans, or bringing stars, or bringing people from your hometown, or from your same borough. I'm both. with you. Huh? Yeah, I think that uh, they both matter. I'm with you though. But that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is the same. My my thing is transcending battle rap to something that we could like something else meaning. We wouldn't have did that without them. 
That's what yeah, I'm saying. I, so that same think... building, so that same building had the same 3,000 seats that was sold a year before without Diddy, without Buster Rhymes, without, you know what I'm saying, and all the other famous people that was there. No knock to that. But what I'm saying is those same seats was filled. We talking about trend. We don't, maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm arguing another thing. No, maybe I'm arguing. For me, this this is all it is for, and I think it really just comes down to what you prefer. Because my my top ten, like my first uh, ballot for the Hall of Fame, used to be way different until like I had a conversation with a bunch of rappers and like a couple whose opinions I respect it. And it's like it's not even about like them transcending it the most or anything like that. But like when, when you're doing like a Hall of Fame, like I feel like the people who started it in the first, like they got to get the homage in there, like just get them in the Hall of Fame first. It's not about yeah. They don't they don't Lux Mook nor Rex make my top five. Two of them are in my top ten. Like mm -hmm. if I'm talking like the greatest or the best, but if I'm throwing people in the Hall of Fame and we're inducting them, like I feel like they got to get that homage and go first. Yeah, so I ain't really talking about that. I'm just talking about when people say transcend and bring battle rap because 2022 is a is a long way from 2003 2004 2005 2006 so if we got six if we got it all way if we gonna say lux and Sirius jones and all them the reason to get in 2006 to 2010 it's like you got to keep the ball rolling so who got 2010 this is my point that's what i was trying to say though nah, like because nah, other no, people that built shit and then, and then did I'm saying because if you take the the best card ever that you said, what two battles trended that battle for battle rap and which ones hurt it? <laughs> if we were talking about if we talking about who did stuff for what, because I remember that was the worst battle ever, damn near. <laughs> so it's like we keep giving people credit for expanding the culture when they really not expanding the culture. And like I said, I gave Lux credit because he'd been outside of every other. He battled Geechee. Then he came back, battle Verg. Then he battled Kyle. Then so he didn't back. He didn't been there. But like I just don't understand the whole expanding the, from 2010 to 22 when you got three battles and none of them and only one of them good. Like that's why I don't be understand what people be saying that shit. It just make I just don't. I really don't understand it. I really don't. And I don't even be hating. It's like help me understand why y'all be calling niggas goats and all this shit when the you know what I'm saying when the schedule got the weakest schedule for a superstar ever got the weakest performances for the superstar you know what i'm saying it's just everything he do he don't really do it good and i'll be like what y'all be talking about no, that's I'm all i want to know like this is my top three goats in this order tay rock geechee and verb and don't worry hit man i'll be feeling like that on the girl side too <laughs> yeah what'd you say these what? bitches was not outside what, what what'd you say um who your who you who your three Tay Rock, Geechee, Verb, in that order. You got and Verb really high, bro. Like, what? Verb resume, Verb, cool. Verb, cool. What, what, what you, you got? You Verb wrong? high as shit. Why, 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 you, why you got them three? It's like, what you talk about? You know what I'm saying? All why right. you picked them three? I, I feel like they have the three best resumes in battle rap, like factoring in win loss record and how well you did in the matches. I feel like they all have. Um, either transcended battle rap or carried it verb with the Mid Midwest uh, movement and, you know, him coming to New York and doing what he did. T Tay Rock being like a, a consistent, showing people it was cool to be a hardworking battle rapper and then running URL when everybody was kind of either doing bigger things or wasn't living up to what they were supposed to be doing. And then Geechee became the face of the league and kind of pushed a whole new era of battle rap. So I, you know, I, I think, um, like I said, the hall, of, the hall of fame is one thing, but I think once we get like ten years down the line in battle rap, some things are gonna matter more down the line. Like even like how you're saying, like getting people, getting people in the venues and stuff, and getting paid is cool. But when you sell out venues, then you take it to now you got a whole app and you're on caffeine stream in front of a million. Now there's a chance they'll get on Netflix or some. Who knows? They could sell out a stadium. So. When you're selling out stadiums and shit, I, f I feel like the very first people can kind of get left in retrospect. Like, you don't talk about the first person who made a rock in a crate when you're talking about the greatest basketball players ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, I this got you. Song, so this what, this what my issue is when I came in and shit, too, because um, when I came in, girls wasn't battling nowhere. Like, I'm sure y'all can remember when that shit was just not it at all. 
there was nowhere. It was only Queen of the Ring, and you had to wait on the hierarchy of Queen of the Ring to even get up there. So when I see, you know, people like, let's say, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, damn, I can't think of nobody for real. Let's say a Farrah, right? Farrah being from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying there's certain people I feel like that are only have that status because it's from the beginning. So do you put them over like you like Reedy said, you would put her, you would put Farrah number one over a person like Casey just because Farrah came first. Who that was a question for you, Greedy. Greedy, because he oh, said okay. he put the Hall of Famers go by who came in first and then impact and shit. I think if Battle Rob stops now, I think Farrah makes a Hall of Fame before Casey, but I, I don't know that I would put her like Oh, on over on a greatest of all time list. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, we just got to agree to disagree. I've been feeling like it impact matters more than who started it, quote unquote. Because um, there's certain people that's different though, like how Lux started his line. Then before he, you know, what I'm saying was quote unquote the Lux we know now. So and some people started after. So legendary doesn't have the same technique you don't have to get hot and then start something you could really just do it at the same time or it just being your intentions to build something for other people as well or bring people on like we was talking about don't hear that and just come and rap i don't see how like they could be considered unless they doing something drastic and transcending a legend definitely agree definitely agree with that you know just Greedy, but that's like 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 Ma was saying, you know, you got different people who like people for different reasons. Like somebody might not have the best resume, but beat everybody on other people's resumes, and people might like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people might not be star power, but they got good resume. Like it's different things for different people. You know what I'm saying? I just know when they bring up my name. Just, just be real, cause St. Louis don't get enough credit, bro. Like me, Verb, even with Ill, Ill stopped short, but like me, Ill is fire. You like, in the top five though, like my my four and fives, you and Hollow. Yeah, me, yeah, me, like me and Verb and Ill, us three, we about we got like we about like ninety battle rappers, top tiers. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't we just say you guys are first battle Hall of Fame? So I was like, get the credit, bro. You get the credit. I know. I swear you do. I swear you do. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, bro? I, I said, I said, you just, we just said your first battle Hall of Fame. Like, you got, you guys get the credit, what, man. What, and I, and bro, I, and bro, I, bro, 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 bro. Bro, First of all, we don't. St. Louis don't get the credit, bro. Stop saying just because you gave us credit. I appreciate that, but don't. That's why y'all, y'all try to kick. It's kind of like what they be talking about with when people don't want to talk about slavery. It make you don't feel good just because y'all don't want to. Man, me, Verb, and Ill do not get the credit. That we deserve, we never have, bro. Ever, bro. Ever. I feel like so, Young L gets almost no credit. Nice. But, I, but but what I'm saying is, I don't see. I always take when I want y'all to be like, oh, be on the spaces and talk about him. And no, I'm talking about as a whole. St. Louis never got the credit we deserve ever, bro. Verb got one of the best resumes and top two resumes ever, though. Don't nobody really talk about that. And everybody only talk about the times he don't really show up and do bad, but they don't talk about the three month span he had when he took 12, 15 battle rappers. I, ain't gonna hold like, I was just about to ask this. Does winning, do you have to win to, to for the resume to be respected? Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. Tiers. Yeah, you do for sure. Tiers. I yeah, think win, crazy yeah. performance not win. is the most important, but winning. Yeah, also. You, you ain't got to really win versus the top tiers. You just can't be getting smoked because it's hard to get a clear win. Versus a top tier battle rap. That's the hardest thing in life to do is to get a clear win on a top tier battle rap. That's the hardest thing to do in battle rap. It ain't about bodies are easy because you can run against no, you can face the names, you can have more fans than somebody go battle and get a body. Well, getting bodies still hard against good competition, but the hard, like, like Tay Rock, K Shine, Shotgun Shug, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, Averb and Surf and all these. It's, it's hard to beat them guys clear. But what I'm saying is, like, me, Verb, and Ill, like, really transcended battle rap as a whole on the road. <laughs> like, and niggas, they, they don't talk like 98, 97, 98% of all three of our 90 battles. Verb got 55. I got 36. Ill probably got about 25, 20. 
all except three of those, all but like four of those was on a roll. I'm talking about four roll, like three hour flight roll. You know what I'm saying? So when I just, when I be hearing people bring up stuff and talk about stuff, it's like, man, even though Ill cut sh stop short, he like Tracy McGrady. Cause we be acting like Ill stopped short, but he really did stop short if you in battle rap years, meaning like his resume. He got about 20 top tier battles versus battle rappers, right? Like, Greedy, how many he got? Who? Young Ill. Probably probably about 20. I think Young Ill's got about 30 battles. Who is this nigga? One of the best slogans ever. Is that a slogan? Or oh, was that just a ball? What we consider that a it's slogan? A moment. That's a it's slogan. a moment. That's it's a moment. moment. It's a moment. Right. Forever. Now, Young Hill's, Young Hill's unforgettable, bro. Young Hill's unforgettable for sure. Even with even with the short uh, stop in his career, or even a, the brief pause in his prime. That's what it is. Like he was reaching his prime. That's what it was. And and and, and yeah. then it's like that's oh, what snap. it is. That's that's why I feel like it's so short. That's right. That's what it is. He stopped during his prime. That's what it like. I mean, he stopped. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So the stop in his prime kind of took the momentum off of what of what he was able he was gonna probably become. Like my top five, bro. Not yeah. includes not include because I you know bro. and I, I think that's a, I think there's another thing too because it's cool when they mention two guys from like you know the Mook even even though Rex Mook and uh, and, and uh, Rex Mook and Lux from the same area. I think it'd be hard to kind of really put me in because when y'all talking about everything impactful and resumes and strength mm -hmm. of schedule and performance and moments and all that shit, like it's hard to put me in verb. A lot of people want to do either or, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? When it come to us with no, like, because and when you think about it, if you talking about the strength of schedule, which is resume, mm -hmm. when you talk about bodies, Classic performance, classic numbers, moments, numbers, numbers. When you talk about all that, what really separates me and Verb? So uh, when only you thing, really, only, only thing to separate you and Verb, in my opinion, is that he might have a few more blemishes than you because he's had battles where he's choked, like on King of the Dot. You know, he mm -hmm. had a little bit of a small stretch where, like, every single white battle rapper in the world would beat Verb. I don't know why that was a thing. Yeah, not nah, no. Nah, when I say not not saying what separates mm -hmm. like meaning bad, I mean like so when people say. Every reason they put or put verb in somewhere, like mm -hmm. I, I normally see that like, people usually put me a verb in their spot. Like for, and but you'll give Mook and Lux the same respect, but me and verb actually a lot closer than me and Lux when it comes to well, my on my, my all time Mun Rushmore. If they mm -hmm. put verb, they won't put me. But what I'm saying is y'all to put Mook and Lux, and Mook and Lux not even close in resumes or whatever y'all want to say with them between those two. But me and verb. It's identical and all the other stuff that, you know what I'm saying, that you can consider of being a much, a, not much more, I know that's, that's fine, forefather type shit, but like being the best, that's what I'm saying. You know, did that make sense? No, that makes sense. And I, I feel like for me personally, like you don't tell the story of battle rap at this point in 2022 without Verb and Hitman. That's why I have both you guys like in my 10, but if I make mm -hmm. a list, but to be honest, like we gotta stop and say, well, hold up, there's a solid 13, 14 names that could be 10. So like that's why mm -hmm. you can you can say so many different we said obviously Mook Rex Clips, that's three, right? Um mm -hmm. Disaster Ill Mac the Source, that's another six. Hollow, mm -hmm. that's seven. Um I didn't say Lux, that's eight. All right, that's already eight names, right? And then we put you and Verb, that's ten, but then what about DNA and then what about Tay Rock and, and then Iron Solomon? Like this is it can go thirteen deep when it when you're talking about the, the first 10. And uh, I think that's why a lot of people will say, oh, let me give Verb or Hitman a spot when I think it should be both of us. I know, but I want to ask lot. you a question. Well, so yeah, I want to yeah. ask you a question. What would make you put, and I didn't want to argue with you, I just feel like arguing. It ain't nothing really what you said, but what would make you put,